This is six satanic doors that will open in your life through a narcissist. It might be tempting to lay blame on the narcissist, given their deceptive nature akin to the Trojan horse. However, 1 Peter 5 to 8 cautions us to be sober minded and watchful. It reminds us that our adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Today, I'd like to discuss the seven demonic doors that can open in your life through a narcissistic relationship and how to firmly close them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hello friends and welcome back to another video podcast, where my aim is to provide biblical solutions to life's challenges. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe and notification button. Door number one represents suspicion. When someone you should be able to trust betrays you, it profoundly impacts you, making you question whom you can rely on. It can lead to a pervasive sense of suspicion towards others. While acknowledging the tarnish, it's crucial not to let the spirit of suspicion, fueled by the enemy, destroy the potential for healthy future relationships. This doesn't mean blindly trusting everyone but rather allowing God to reveal trustworthy individuals through discernment and waiting to see the fruit they produce. The second door is confusion. Narcissists often instill confusion in their victims, undermining efforts to resolve conflicts and foster growth in relationships. Instead of understanding your perspective, they bombard you with sly accusations and belittlement. This leaves you bewildered as you struggle to comprehend why they can't grasp your communication. The truth is they don't care. They're confusing their self-serving actions with genuine interest. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. Embrace his promises, follow his commands, and confusion will gradually release its grip on you. Door number three represents an identity crisis. Engaging with narcissistic relationships whether through absorbing their damaging words or solely focusing on meeting their narcissistic needs, can lead you to live below your potential. Many survivors of narcissistic abuse express, I don't even know who I am. Without a foundation in Christ, these relationships can severely impact self-esteem. The solution lies in redirecting your focus to God's perspective on you. Despite the narcissist's words, immerse yourself in scriptures like Psalm 139-1316 and Ephesians 2.10 to drown out the narcissistic lies. Be aware that it's a battle against the enemy's attempts to pull you back into toxic thinking. Keep fighting, as number three opens the door to number four, codependency. Codependency, represented by number four, involves an unhealthy attachment and dependence on others to fulfill your needs. It implies that your well-being is contingent on their approval. In codependent relationships, the reliance is on each other rather than on God, which, despite its romantic portrayal in movies, is highly destructive in healthy relationships. Satan manipulates individuals into seeking their needs from others and disguising it as love. Co-pendants often pride themselves on feeling others' emotions, but this is not a superpower. It's a demonic distortion of what healthy, interdependent relationships should resemble. If you're grappling with codependency, you're not alone, and there's help available through the Conquering Codependency Biblically online course, which I've linked in the description below. Moving on to number five, we encounter trauma bonding. This occurs when the victim, in a codependent relationship, develops a deep sense of affection, empathy, and sympathy for the abuser. This type of bonding is not positive. It's the devil's counterfeit for healthy, interdependent relationships. A person experiencing trauma bonding may perceive their abuser's actions as love. The enemy exploits our innate need for attachment and validation in this dynamic. However, there is hope for those in Christ, as no devil or narcissistic individual is more powerful than our God. 
Number six brings us to maladaptive behaviour. It follows logically that if a narcissist exhibits maladaptive behaviours, over time you may unintentionally adopt similar, albeit distinct, poor relationship skills. If you've chosen to remain with a narcissist and are fully committed to Jesus Christ's Lordship, my friend, you might develop unhealthy coping mechanisms. However, coping and thriving are not synonymous. Individuals in relationships with narcissistic abusers often develop survival behaviours, ranging from substance abuse to adopting a victim mentality. You might catch yourself resorting to manipulation, using guilt as a weapon, or embracing unhealthy forms of avoidance. While maintaining a healthy relationship is challenging when one party is toxic, be cautious not to fall into the trap of exchanging evil for evil. And finally, number seven is narcissism itself. Yes, narcissism. If you're not vigilant, spending a significant amount of time in a narcissistic relationship can potentially render you susceptible to developing narcissistic traits. Now let's be clear, this is not a certainty. The devil is cunning in this regard, directing your attention to learning about narcissism and keeping you mired in self-pity and a victim mindset. These patterns bind you to self-focused contemplation on the damage inflicted on your life, diverting your focus from spiritual growth. Your life transforms into a narrative centered around yourself, where you may either adopt a covert victim mentality or an overt power-taking stance. It's either, oh, they ruined my life, or I'm reclaiming my power. Both mindsets, however, exclude God from the equation. I've only covered a few demon doors so far. Which demonic doors have you observed opening in narcissistic relationships? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Interested in understanding the demons associated with narcissism? Feel free to watch the next episode on this topic. That's all from me and thank you for watching this video. If you've crossed paths with a narcissist, you've likely experienced the significant challenges they present. These individuals possess a cunning knack for manipulating and coercing others into satisfying their every whim. But don't despair, as there are effective strategies to make them regret the hurtful acts they've inflicted upon you. While the task may not be as formidable as it seems, it does necessitate strategic preparation. Without delay, let's explore 10 powerful methods to genuinely make a narcissist regret their actions. First and foremost, seize the opportunity to lead your best life, free from their toxic presence. To instill true remorse in a narcissist, start by embracing a life that flourishes without their influence. Surround yourself with individuals who genuinely care about you, acknowledging your humanity and supporting your growth. Recognize that you are the protagonist of your own journey, not a mere side character in their misguided narrative. Shed any lingering guilt and immerse yourself in activities that nourish your soul. Embark on adventures with friends, revel in nature's embrace, indulge in movies that ignite your imagination. Accept the truth that you deserve far more than they could ever offer, happiness and fulfillment on your terms. Take a deep breath and let this realization guide you towards living your best life without their shadow looming over you. In the second strategy, aim to become a superior individual in comparison to the narcissist. These individuals possess a deceptive ability to cloak themselves in kindness and empathy, all the while harboring manipulative, self-centered and heartless intentions. They pursue their goals relentlessly even if it means inflicting pain on others. If your objective is to make them regret their actions, strive to outshine them in every conceivable way. Tap into your inner strength and rise above their toxic conduct by embodying kindness, empathy and genuine concern for others. Through consistently showcasing these qualities, you strip them of the power they crave, laying bare their true insignificance. Remember, 
Perfection isn't always attainable. Instead, focus on the ways in which you've grown stronger and wiser through the experience. The third crucial piece of advice is never hesitating to assert yourself. When aiming to make a narcissist regret their actions, asserting yourself is paramount. Narcissists thrive on dominance and control, so pushing back against their tyranny forces them to reconsider their behavior. Be wary of their manipulative tactics, crafted to make you believe you're the problem while they play the helpless victim. Stay vigilant and resist falling into their twisted web of deception. If someone consistently diminishes you or subjects you to ridicule, it's high time for a change. Refuse to allow them to mistreat you simply because they can't find anyone else willing to tolerate their reprehensible actions. If someone lacks respect and kindness, they don't deserve your loyalty or friendship. The fourth fundamental guideline involves radiating self-assurance and independence. To genuinely make a narcissist regret their actions, unwavering belief in yourself and your capabilities is crucial. When you possess unshakable confidence, it becomes challenging for others to tear you down or make you question your worth. This doesn't imply becoming arrogant. Rather, it signifies that, no matter how hard someone tries to belittle you, their efforts will crumble before reaching your core. Their futile attempts will lead them to remorse for the harm they have inflicted. Additionally, cultivating self-sufficiency and refusing to rely on others for validation or happiness is imperative. The deceptive tactics employed by narcissists aim to convince you that you need them. However, in reality, you are a self-contained entity capable of finding fulfillment and joy without their manipulative presence. The fifth crucial tip revolves around self-care. The journey you have traversed involves enduring lies, infidelity, and manipulations. It is perfectly natural to feel hurt and angry, but it is crucial not to let negative emotions consume your being. Prioritizing self-care becomes an essential step in instilling regret within a narcissist for their actions. Maintaining a positive perspective, despite the mistreatment inflicted by a narcissist, may pose a challenge, but it is certainly achievable. A pivotal step in this journey is prioritizing self-care. This involves nourishing your body with wholesome nutrition, incorporating regular exercise into your routine, and ensuring sufficient rest. Indulge in activities that bring you joy, such as massages or peaceful walks in nature. Surround yourself with a supportive network of loved ones who genuinely care about your well-being. By immersing yourself in activities that enhance your physical and mental health and bring genuine joy, the manipulative efforts of narcissists lose their effectiveness. Prioritizing your needs and nurturing your well-being allows you to break free from their control and reclaim your personal power. Now let's explore the sixth tactic. Cease apologizing to narcissists altogether. Proficient manipulators, narcissists excel in inducing guilt and convincing you that you are at fault. If you've ever extended an apology to a narcissist, you've likely experienced their adeptness at twisting your words and distorting reality, leaving you questioning your own value. It's crucial to realize that, in these situations, narcissists are not the victims, but the perpetrators of harm. Holding them accountable for their actions is essential. Resist the urge to apologize or justify yourself when they attempt to undermine your confidence. Apologizing for actions that don't warrant reproach or failing to assert yourself in the face of abuse surrenders control over your life, allowing them to maintain their dominance. Moving on to the seventh strategy, embrace silence and disregard their existence. The most powerful method to make a narcissist regret their actions is to employ the silent treatment and completely ignore their presence. If their company is unbearable, create distance. Use your time to cater to your needs 
strengthen connections with supportive friends and loving family, and surround yourself with individuals who uplift and inspire you, avoiding those who bring negativity. As the narcissist perceives your indifference to their antics, they may reflect on the mistakes they've made and the emptiness they now face without you. This internal turmoil might lead to an unexpected plea for your forgiveness. Moving on to number eight. Cultivate unyielding strength and focus to elicit remorse from a narcissist. It's crucial to maintain emotional resilience, even when their actions provoke anger or sadness. Revealing vulnerability to a narcissist only provides ammunition for further harm. Instead, direct your energy toward activities that bring joy and personal growth. Refuse to grant the narcissist the power and control they crave. Redirect your attention away from their toxic influence and concentrate on building a life that authentically reflects your essence. Next, at number nine, withhold flattery and compliments, exposing their flaws and missteps. Flattery boosts the narcissist's self-assurance and validates their behavior. To evoke remorse in their conscience, deny them what they crave. Avoid magnifying their ego with compliments. Instead, highlight and emphasize their weaknesses and mistakes. This uncomfortable truth will sow seeds of insecurity, making their presence around you uneasy. Should they persist in manipulative tactics, stand firm in your resolve. Break free from their control by refusing to let their influence shape your self-perception. Concluding with number 10, resist their demands and defy their expectations. Narcissists thrive on manipulation and control, exerting relentless pressure to shape you according to their desires. In situations where a narcissist attempts to corner you, stand tall and unwavering. Refuse to be coerced into submission. Maintain your firm stance, denying them the power to dictate your choices. If you encounter a situation where someone persistently demands something beyond your capacity, handle it gracefully by politely and firmly expressing your disinterest. Stand firm in your decision, resisting the urge to yield to their pleas. Establishing healthy boundaries is an act of consideration that benefits both parties. Clearly communicate these boundaries, emphasizing their importance for your personal growth and well-being. If the other person persists in disrespecting your boundaries, it's entirely acceptable to conclude the conversation and remove yourself from the situation. You are not obligated to justify or elaborate on your decision. By steadfastly refusing to comply with their demands and expectations, you wield the power to make them reconsider their harmful behavior. Remember, no one should endure abuse or mistreatment, and if faced with such circumstances, it's essential to maintain hope and seek healthier alternatives. By adopting these empowering strategies, you empower yourself to elicit remorse from a narcissist for their actions towards you. Take charge of your life and prioritize your well-being above all else. Resist allowing them back into your life to cause further harm. If you found this video insightful, we would greatly appreciate your comments below and encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel as it significantly supports us in delivering valuable content. Recovering from a challenging breakup with a narcissist involves reflecting on the nature of the split. Questions may arise, such as whether the narcissist intentionally ended the relationship or if you made the painful decision to break away from their strong influence. The situation becomes even more complex when you observe them quickly shifting their focus to someone new, adding confusion and emotional turmoil. After such a relationship, Emotions can be intense, necessitating a deep confrontation with reality. For those currently dealing with a recent breakup, it's vital to recognize that even if the separation appeared amicable, the narcissist might attempt to re-enter your life. Understanding their cyclical behavior is crucial, helping you prepare for the possibility of their reappearance. 
For those who have elapsed some time since the breakup, a more in-depth exploration into the peculiar facets of narcissistic behavior becomes imperative. Upon closer examination, the narcissist exhibits an uncanny ability to immerse themselves in new relationships, seemingly on a quest to discover the most profound connection conceivable. This behavior implies a perception of others as disposable, even if only temporarily, as the narcissist places high value on their new connection, while flaunting it almost provocatively initially. However, the transient nature of this display becomes apparent over time, akin to a fleeting breeze. The narcissist's inclination to showcase their new alliance diminishes, highlighting the impermanence of their actions. What may be conspicuous today in their attempt to provoke reactions eventually wanes, underscoring the fleeting nature of their behavior in the post-breakup landscape. Comprehending these dynamics is pivotal for navigating the intricacies of healing and moving forward. As we traverse the intricate terrain of relationships, particularly with individuals exhibiting narcissistic traits, it becomes apparent that not every encounter is tainted by toxicity. Picture engaging with someone more conventional and seasoned, an individual who has weathered the highs and lows of various relationships. These individuals possess a sharp awareness of narcissistic behaviours, having finely tuned their ability to identify manipulative tendencies. This stands in stark contrast to the initial, perhaps blissfully ignorant experiences of dealing with narcissists. Life experience provides us with the discernment to spot manipulators, even when disguised in the allure of a new relationship. The yearning for the presence of those who have undergone narcissistic relationships is a fascinating phenomenon. Despite leaving individuals in a state of despair and worthlessness, narcissists often find themselves longing for the qualities they once took for granted. Post-separation, they gradually recognize the true worth of their previous partners, the boundless love, purity, honesty, and authenticity that were integral to the relationship. Contrasting this with the new supply, they may discern the absence of these qualities heightening their longing for the revival of the previous connection. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that narcissists have a tendency to sever ties. The aftermath of a breakup often involves a smear campaign where they publicly announce their estrangement from us and tarnish our reputation in our social circles. This calculated effort complicates any potential return as their stubbornness, egotism and pride may hinder them from reaching out openly. If you find yourself in a situation where the narcissist attempts to reconnect, whether subtly through a social media like or a message from a cleverly disguised profile, it's vital to recognize these actions as integral components of the intricate machinery they employ for manipulation. Whether you're in the initial stages of navigating this challenging situation or find yourself deeper down the rabbit hole, reflecting on past attempts by the narcissist to re-establish contact can offer valuable insights. Identifying the patterns and grasping the underlying motivations behind these actions can empower individuals to make informed decisions about re-engaging or maintaining healthy boundaries. Amidst the seemingly intentional efforts to provoke envy and heartache by showcasing their new partner in front of you, there exists a deeper layer of motivation beyond the surface theatrix. Their conduct reflects a sense of desperation, an unyielding endeavor to reconnect with you and ultimately pull you back into the gravitational force of their influence. The presentation of a thriving romance is not merely an act of showcasing but a strategic maneuver aimed at rekindling the flames of your attention, the very attention they crave. It is essential to acknowledge that in their yearning for reconciliation, they secretly wish to witness you plead for a reunion. A notable instance is the crafting of a dating profile where an individual extolled the wonders of their life since meeting a new partner. At the time, the motives were veiled in ambiguity. But in hindsight, 
it becomes clear that it was a calculated effort to capture your attention, propelled by an underlying discontent and an intense desire for your return. In this intricate dance between two parties, the power resides in the realm of silence. Resisting the temptation to supplicate, beg, or engage in the futile pursuit of reconciliation becomes our ally. Such actions might be customary in the context of rational and healthy relationships, but when grappling with a narcissist, they only serve to subject us to humiliation. Even if we were to capture their attention and extend an olive branch, there remains the possibility that they are still reveling in the honeymoon phase of their newfound connection. Opting for the path of silence allows the dust to settle, revealing the depth of their desperation. Their reactions unfold in various ways, whether through an inundation of social media with extravagant praise for their new partner, or a retreat into a shroud of silence. This moment of revelation becomes an opportunity to reclaim control, witnessing the unravelling of their carefully crafted facade, and in turn, fostering a clearer understanding of the dynamics at play in the intricate web of narcissistic relationships. It is crucial to understand that early on, they often realise the unparalleled value your presence holds in their life. Therefore, advocating for letting them go becomes a consistent stance. This is not an invitation to welcome them back, but a deliberate act to firmly seal the door shut. Releasing them serves a profound purpose as it compels them to confront the significance you hold. They gradually recognize the unique qualities and advantages you possess, attributes deliberately absent in their newfound connection. Over time, they become acutely aware of the benefits you provided advantages that the seemingly enticing landscapes they explored failed to deliver. As mentioned earlier, they might venture off to what initially seems like a more promising scenario, only to discover it resembles artificial turf or withered grass, a realization that intensifies their desperation to return. Their apparent lack of understanding may be perplexing. Sometimes, the only way for a lesson to genuinely take root is through personal introspection. Interestingly, the more you voice objections, reason, or engage in debates with them, the more they tend to distance themselves from you. Therefore, the recommendation is to avoid pushing for change. If the separation is relatively recent, allow time to pass, perhaps at least a month. In the interim, envelop yourself in tranquility and become an enigma it is likely that their inclination to return will become apparent. Their return isn't merely a casual hello, how have you been, or a simple like on a social media post. Even if they struggle to express it overtly, there's a profound subtext indicating their deep-seated desire to reintegrate into your life, though left unsaid. They grapple with the intricate process of retracing their steps, and repairing the bridges they once intentionally set ablaze. It's crucial to understand that it's only a matter of time before the narcissist attempts to re-enter your life. Whether your wound is recent or long-standing, there's a significant likelihood they will try to find their way back in. Recovering from narcissistic abuse is a gradual process, and the perpetrators often face difficulties severing their own ties to those they mistreated. They might pretend to have moved on, perhaps by getting married or starting families. However, in reality, these endeavours seldom fill the void they created. Disregard any stories they crafted during your relationship. Keep in mind that deceit is a tool in their arsenal, be it undervaluing their emotional investment or displaying a general disinterest. It's all part of a complex manipulation strategy crafted to serve their own interests. If you found this article enlightening, we appreciate your support through likes and subscriptions to our channel. Stay tuned for upcoming updates, rest assured.